fail academically, especially Christian students. Why they fail academically? Listen to me, sir. If you fail academically, it's not because the Holy Ghost is not in you, it's because you didn't engage him. Ayah. If a believer who is a tongue talking Christian fails exam, he didn't fail because the Holy Ghost is not in him, he failed because he refused to engage the Holy Ghost. Can I ask you a question? Can I ask you a question? The assignment of generator is to generate electricity. Are you with me? The assignment of a generator is to produce electricity. Is that true? But can a generator produce light by itself if you don't want it? If you don't switch it on, can you just can you just plug something and then light will come out, sir? No, sir. It means that if you don't if you don't engage the Holy Ghost, eh, you will not see the result of the Holy Ghost produced in your life. The power of God will not be generated in your life if you don't engage the personality of the Holy Ghost. You have to engage Him. Ask Him questions. How will this semester go? How should I read this semester? Who should I read with this semester? What are the courses that should select this semester? How many hours should I read every day this semester? The Bible says the labors of fools, it weary at them because they don't know the way to the city. Don't be a fool. Don't just labor in vain. The Bible says it is vain for a man to wake up in the morning and come back home late in the night. Oh, the bread of sorrow. If you don't want to labor in vain, as a new man in Christ, as a tongue-talking Christian, you must learn to engage the Holy Ghost. If you don't want to labor in vain, as a tongue-talking believer, you must learn to engage the Holy Ghost. Don't just carry the Holy Ghost in your spirit, man. Learn how to engage Him. Engage the Holy Ghost.